Mother's Day is less than a week away, but do you know what mom really wants? Mm, a new survey reveals the most popular gifts, but more importantly, the one gift that mothers really don't want. <laughs> Greg Argos is here to explain the do's and don'ts of Mother's Day. That's right, guys. You know, Yuki, Jess, your mother deserves the best gift, sure. of course, mm -hmm. right? Well, for many, that may mean getting her a beautiful bracelet, a pair of earrings, or a brand new necklace. But a new survey says moms would rather have something that can help them relax. This Sunday is a day dedicated to mom. Do you know what you're buying her yet? I plan the date ahead because my life is busy. I plan a couple of weeks ahead. I have a sister, and so we like to coordinate. I am buying my mother something. You know what that is yet? I don't. Should I get onto that? When is Mother's Day? There's the tried and true. We normally get her flowers. Or the gift of just being together. Nice dinner, maybe. Just hanging out, quality time. They're always going to say love. I don't really know. I'm not. I don't know how mothers think. But whatever you do, you may want to rethink getting her that piece of jewelry. In a new survey by Offers.com about what mom wants, jewelry comes in dead last. Which is a shame because jewelry is a pretty easy thing to buy for a guy. Just 12% of mothers say they want it. Okay, so I'll stay away from jewelry. <laughs> no diamond necklaces this weekend. <laughs> Definitely not. Save me some money. First on the list, 22% of moms saying they want a massage or a day at the spa. Pampering personal products are idea. Cheryl Ann Wadlington is the style director at Avalor. We do makeovers, uh, personal shopping, uh, style coordinating and she says shopping trends have changed even though you know years ago diamonds were a girl's best friend uh, right now you know women say look I, you know, we're looking we want to feel good on the inside the key is pampering and making mom feel great spa days are great um, flowers you know even though they may score high that is so quick and easy so return that necklace and maybe get her something a little less shiny but a whole lot more relaxing. Your husband can buy you jewelry, your boyfriend can buy you jewelry, but kids, no, I don't think so. No, they're more likely to borrow your jewelry, aren't they? <laughs> <laughs> now, personalized gifts come in second in the survey. Right after that, massage or day spa, but there, make sure you're not getting them homemade crafts. Those are second to last. Oh, so you're saying the popsicle <laughs> stick frame I made it is not going to cut it? Mother and play. Here's something else interesting. Mother is the average gift, 68 bucks. For wives, 91. Interesting. <laughs> I guess you're living with them. Yes, right? indeed. Great. Thank you, Greg. Good, info. good Thank stuff. You. Good stuff.